It's really um, a, a pleasure to be a family-owned business that can do things that are right for the company because you're working for the customer, you're not working for the market. BusinessJournalDaily.com, Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Our practice is to open one store a year. There are more opportunities out there, but we think that opening a store, you know, it's, it's a family business. You want to treat it like, you want to treat everybody like a member of the family and give it the care and feeding and nurturing that it needs and, and the attention that it needs. But, so that's part of it. Part of it is also that as a privately owned company, we're not under pressure to please the market. If we were publicly held, our shareholders would expect us to be opening as many stores as we possibly could. So it's really um, a, a pleasure to be a family owned business that can do things that are right for the company because you're working for the customer, you're not working for the market. What made Niles a good fit for Boscoff's? Well, certainly the, the, the first thing that we look for is an opportunity for, for, for a store. There, nobody's building malls these days, um, but in this case there was a store that was available that was too small for us, but with the help of the Cafaro family we were able to enlarge it to 185,000 feet, which is what Boscov's needs. It's a big store. Um, so the availability of space is one, but then you certainly look at the, at the demographic and make sure that it's the, community, it's the kind of community that's going to like you. And from everything we see and from the buzz that I've heard so far, I think it's been a terrific choice for us and we're looking forward to a very, very big opening. What kind of challenge did the current jobs environment pose to you when you were trying to staff up the store? We really didn't know what to expect uh, in, in this part of the country, in this part of the state. But I think overall, we had a very successful hiring process and the challenges weren't as difficult as we anticipated because of the pandemic. And I think the thing that we were most impressed with that the people we have hired, uh, very qu uh, quality people, hardworking, very focused on doing the job and have just dug in and, and worked very hard. There isn't a single business that had a, a pandemic playbook that they could pull out and go, oh, here's what you do when you've got to shut down for three months. But we learned a lot. We learned that we could do meetings online, um, but you really missed the opportunity and all the nuances of one-to-one -one communication. So as soon as we could get people back in the office, we did. It forced us to look at things that we were doing that we had always done, but maybe didn't have a reason to do, or the reason had ended over a period of time. So there were certain practices that we had. We had to learn to be a little bit more efficient because, because business was harder. What do you consider this story's catchment area to be? What, what all area are you targeting this area to draw from? Every area is a little bit different. In our store in the Ohio Valley Mall in St. Clairsville, we found that people traveled as far as, as 45 miles away. Uh, but it also depends on what's available to them. Um, there, there are lots of opportunities here, but we, th we know from people's experience, we're meeting a lot of people who've already traveled and know Boscovs because they know us in Beaver, um, that we have the ability to draw from a big area. Do you anticipate opening in another store within this market or geographically, will this pretty much serve the needs of Northeast Ohio, Western Pennsylvania? Well. I think we have to see. I mean, I think we're anticipating doing very good business, um, but I think right now our focus is on the opening of this store, and then we'll take a look around and see what other opportunities exist. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com. BusinessJournalDaily.com, Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.